now now the electoral commission's website has been down since the assumption of jean mensa as chairperson it's redesigning and maintenance was one of the issues which led to the dismissal of the former ec chair charlotte Osei and her two deputies my colleague seloma menya has more in the following report the electoral commission's website which is one of the commission's key communication media to the public has not been functional Key in www.ec.gov.gh and this is what you get. It is an indication that the server is temporarily unavailable to service your request. It has been like this in the last two months since we started monitoring. Kwame Usuansa is an IT expert. There's a bandwidth that would allow a user that's trying to access the website to be able to access it. So now when you go to a website and it says bandwidth exceeded, then it means that the amount of resource that was allocated to um, the website or the host of the website has been exceeded. A further probe shows the website is being hosted by the National Information Technology Agency, NITA. But why would NITA put a cap on the volume of resources it is given to the Electoral Commission? It could be that, yes, the website is pointed to NITA's um, servers correctly, but NITA has put a cap on the, on the bandwidth, which is why people are not able to access it. The media is concerned about the anomaly. Some of them consciously make effort to make you know what is new on their website and even create a space for media where you could get information relating to what you probably would need that you may not be able to get from, let's say, a PRO who is an available CEO or whoever it is that is supposed to provide that information. He noted credible data from the EC, particularly a few months to elections, is critical and wants the EC to step up effort at fixing it. It's also worrying because we have less than eight months or so to an election and you basically would need this website to validate some of the information you probably would get in terms of data if you are let's say a new organization that is looking for data about let's say election results. Ebeneza Ajekum Boatin is a producer and reporter at TV3 and like any other information user recount how helpful the EC's website was when it was functional. What I did was to compare years of elections from some constituencies. So it was information that really helped me to do the story. When I, I mined the websites of other institutions, I realized that the information then on the Electoral Commission website was, was better. The redesigning and maintenance of the EC's website was one of the issues that led to the dismissal of the former EC chair Charlotte Osei and her two deputies. The Chief Justice's Committee which sat on the case, found that a contract sum of $108,510, which consisted of a $32,510 for redesigning plus $76,000 for maintenance, was unilaterally awarded to Dreamover Limited in breach of procurement laws. Our checks also revealed that the contract was terminated. The EC is yet to comment on the issue. All right, so we're still knocking on the doors of the Electoral Commission to get some answers to this situation. Clearly, uh, the website is extremely important. Uh, we have a number of months ahead of us to election 2020, that's in December. So stay with us here on your election command center as we get some answers to this. But